Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to our first Champions League game of the 2014 to 2015 campaign. Our very first match live from the Camp Nerd quarter to eight UK time. And it's a very, very big game because it's our first game. You know, it's against Apoel Nicosia and it's our first game. We want to get a, a win on the board. Not particularly difficult opposition, but uh, at the same time, you need to be focused, you need to be concentrating, and they need to get the win. Basically, I've already done a, a preview to this game, so I've already gone over a lot of the details from the match, but... As has been the case this season, Luis Enrique's selection, his team selection, has been surprising. And he's made some quite crucial changes to the side that beat Athletic on the weekend. And I'd just like to talk through some of those changes. Because of the 18 players called up this, for this game, Montoya, Mascherano, Johnny Albert, Sergio Busquets and Pedro have all been excluded from the lineup. Now... I don't want to read too much into that. I don't think any of those players have specifically done anything wrong. I think there's a lot of criticism gone Pedro's way, but I don't think it's anything like that that's made them withdraw. I just think that Luis Enrique feels that we don't necessarily need to risk them in this game, risk them of injury. We can give them a bit of a rest, give some other players a chance. I think certainly Jordi Alba, Adriana will come in and take his place. He hasn't um, had any game time this season yet. He's a good player. He's a very, very useful player to have in the squad. We need to keep him happy. I think Bus gets to be leaving him out. Of course, he plays so many games every single season. He's very consistent in that role, so that makes sense to give him a bit of a rest. Mascherano is a bit surprising. You felt that maybe he would get a chance in defensive midfield, but, you know, that that hasn't happened. He's been left out as well. He's got a bit of game time this season at centre-back, so maybe that's the reason for that. Pedro's been left out. Not really understanding that one too much. He needs a bit of confidence. Maybe in a good game for him to get a goal, but, you know, I'll side with Enrique on that one. And Montoya is surprising as well, but... Douglas has been called up for his first time to the Barcelona squad. So, the whole squad follows Claudio Bravo, uh, Marc Andre Ter Stegen, Dani Alves, Douglas Barger, PK, Machu, uh, Adriano, Sergi Samper, Ivan Rakitic, Xavi, Sergi Roberto, Iniesta, Rafinha, Munir El Haddadi, Lionel Messi, Sandra Ramirez, and Neymar Jr. That is the squad. Um, the possible lineup could literally be anything. Any of those players could fit into the possible lineup because, like I say, under Luis Enrique, you have no idea who's going to be in the lineup. It's so unpredictable. The papers can't predict it. We can't predict it, which is great, really. It shows the competition for places. It shows the versatility we have in the squad. And also it shows, you know, the fact that Luis Enrique is open-minded. He will play players based on form, not reputation, which is always great in a manager. So... In terms of goalkeepers, it's going to be Ter Stegen, it's going to be Bravo, you don't know. Personally, I would start Ter Stegen, I think he needs a game, you know, he's a player who's going to be our number one in a number of years to come, so I think he needs some matches, he needs to get some experience under his belt, he's back from his injury now, so let's start playing him. Danny Alves has received the medical green light. Personally, though, I'd like to see Douglas. If Montoy is not there, I'd like to see what Douglas can offer. You know, he came in, he's had a lot of criticism, he's not even kicked a ball. I just want to see what we've signed. I think everyone really wants to see what he can produce. And I hope he's good. I really do. I hope he proves people wrong, because... Um, He's come in with a lot of criticism, but I really do believe that this guy could come in and actually be quite surprising. Um, in terms of the back four, you know, Douglas, Alves could be either of those. Um, I'd love to see Barcher get some minutes. I think he has to start this game. He's not been trusted so far this season. He hasn't started a single match. We have to start him in this game. Jeremy Machu, I think I would start alongside him. Gerard Piqui on the bench, maybe. Adriano, as I said, will play left back. Midfield's an interesting one with Busquets and Mascherano both uh, excluded from the squad. We don't have a defensive midfielder, but we do have Sergi Samper, a defensive midfielder from the B side, has been promoted for this game. He's in the squad, and this guy is brilliant. I would love to see him start tonight because he has got that ability about him to step up in these games. And the best thing about him is he's fearless. He'll go out there and he'll play exactly the same as he does in the B team as he plays exactly the same if he was playing in the part with his mates. Because what he does is he goes out on the pitch and he takes everything as it comes. You know, he'll get the ball and if he thinks the dribble's on, he'll make it. He's not the kind of guy who'll come into this game and he'll feel the pressure. He's not like that at all. He'll come into this game, he'll perform at the high level, he'll take it all as it comes, he'll stay very, you know, level-headed, and he's a really, really exciting prospect. And I can't wait to see him because he is somebody who can turn into a Busquets-type figure. I'm not going to say Sampa is the new Busquets because I don't like doing that to players. Sampa, if he's gonna if he's gonna progress, if he's gonna develop into the player we hope he can, he's not the new Busquets. He'll be Sergi Sampa. He's his own player. He's his own role model. He's got to go out there. He's got to produce what he can. And I believe this guy's got the ability to go really, really far. 
Um, his midfield partners, I said earlier on, it'd be great if uh, Samper could start alongside Xavi and Iniesta because when you're coming into the side, who better to play alongside than Xavi and Iniesta, two absolute maestros of the game. So I'd like it if it was those two. Rakitic could come in. Of course, there's Rafinha Alcantara. We've not seen the best of him this season. I'd like to see him playing in a creative midfield role. I feel he's best in that position, so I'd like to see him play that sort of role if he does get some game time today. And then the front three, which... Well, again, I mean, you've got Messi, you've got Neymar. I expect those two to definitely start because the combination's going well. We need to see them having more games together. And then it's who's the third man. A lot of people are saying Sandra Ramirez could start today, which would be interesting because, of course, he came on against Villarreal, made the difference, got the decisive goal. I want to see a bit more of him. But at the same time, I want to keep seeing money in every match. You know, I don't get bored of watching him. He's getting better and better in every game he plays. He's getting more and more experience. And I just want to go out, see him go out there and score some goals because, uh, you know, it's nothing better than seeing a young player come up into the team and take his chance. And they've both done that. Fair play to them. Sandra and Munir have both taken their chances when they've come. And uh, either of those tonight I'll be happy with. So that's the team. That's the squad. That's the players. A couple of, you know, surprise exclusions, as I say. That's why I've done this video, because it was a bit of a surprise to see Sergi Samper in the squad. It was a bit of a surprise to see Busquets and Mascherano left out. But um, that's Luis Enrique for you, and that's what the season's going to be like. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, there's going to be surprises. But it seems as though he's got his head screwed on, hasn't he? You know, he knows the players he wants to play. He's got the right attitude. He's got the right mentality to manage this squad to the best of their ability. And there's some really, really high hopes. So anyway, my prediction for this evening is 5-0. I'm going with the big one, and that's what I'm hoping anyway, that we can score some goals and also keep a clean sheet. I'd love it if we can come out of this game still without conceding a goal, because that's the important thing. Our defence has been solid, we haven't conceded a goal yet, let's continue that tonight. So leave your predictions down below, guys. I love hearing what you've got to say. Your comments are always really valued on this channel, and thanks to everybody who's listening and watching in. That's brilliant, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you very soon after the game for a match review right here on Talk FCB. Thanks for listening in. Watch it! Watch it!